Hi there, my name is Dr. Vera Etches. I'm the Medical Officer of Health for Ottawa Public Health. And today I'm gonna to be sharing some information about the novel coronavirus or COVID-19. COVID-19 continues to spread in communities around the world and the situation's changing every day. Eventually, we might get into a situation where the virus becomes a pandemic. And the P word can feel scary to some, but it basically just means that there's a virus that's spread to multiple continents or around the world and people do not have a developed immunity to the virus. So a good way to think about a pandemic is that it describes the geography of the spread, but not the severity of the virus. Three other P words to focus on in the face of a potential pandemic are preparedness, prevention, and politeness. So let's start with preparedness. In general, emergency preparedness is a good thing to practice. Whether we're talking about a severe winter storm or coronavirus, it's always good to be prepared. And by being prepared ahead of time, we can minimize the impact experienced by hospitals, pharmacies, clinics, should we get any local cases. In respect to the coronavirus, think about the things you may need if you were to get sick. So stock up on non-perishable foods gradually over the next few weeks. Be prepared for two weeks should you become ill. And check out the City of Ottawa's Safety and Emergency Preparedness page to learn more about how to put together an emergency kit. Fill prescriptions and stock up on over-the-counter medications. I know this might not be possible in all cases, but some things you can do include don't waiting to fill essential prescriptions, fill prescriptions for an extra month if you can, get refills, refills with enough notice in case you uh, run out of medicine, purchase over-the-counter medications for pain or cough, plan to make sure that your children and dependents have support if you are sick, and stock up on supplies for your pets, stock up on cleaning supplies, and ensure you have adequate sanitary or hygiene supplies. Part of being prepared is also to prepare your body to fight a possible infection. So stay healthy by eating well, drinking lots of fluids, staying active if you're well, try to get enough rest and sleep. So a healthy immune system is the best way to be prepared to fight an infection. It's okay to not be okay, so please know that help is available and we encourage you to reach out to the Distress Centre of Ottawa to connect with someone at 613-238-3311 if this is causing anxiety. The second P is prevention. There are many things we can do to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. So these are strategies that can also prevent the spread of many infections like influenza. Wash your hands often with soap and water and try to wash for at least 20 seconds to make sure you're getting full coverage of your hands, even in those hard to reach bits between your fingers. And sometimes singing a short song in your head like happy birthday or your ABCs will help you know that you spent enough time washing your hands. If soap and water aren't available, you can also use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. So avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth unless you've just washed your hands with soap Try to practice this as much as possible. It can be hard, especially if you have an itch. Hold your friends and family accountable. You could even make it into a game if you want to. Not touching your face is a very important way to help avoid an infection. Cover your cough and sneeze with a tissue or into your arm, not your hand. And as an added precaution, try to come up with alternatives to a handshake. Maybe bump elbows or wave politely. Um, that will help prevent the spread of germs. A handshake no longer becomes polite if you are handing over an infectious disease. So if possible, stay home when you're sick. And if you're an employer, try to make sure that your employees can cover off for each other if someone gets sick. Explore working from home if you're able, if you're feeling well enough. And avoid visiting people in hospitals or long-term care centers if you're sick. Pay close attention to new travel health notices on travel.gc.ca. These notices are full of helpful information if you're planning to travel, if you're already abroad or returning home. And try to limit leisure travel to countries that are affected. One last P word I want to focus on is politeness. We're all in this together. And it's never a reason to discriminate against anyone because of their physical appearance or ethnicity. And although the disease may have started in Wuhan, we're all equally as susceptible. Also, one thing that's certainly not polite is spreading misinformation. So make sure that the information you're reading and sharing comes from credible sources, such as Ottawa Public Health, the Ministry of Health, or the Public Health Agency of Canada. For more information about COVID-19, including frequently asked questions, visit our website at www.ottawapublichealth.ca slash coronavirus. From all of us at Ottawa Public Health, remember, prevent the spread of germs, prepare yourself and your family for a potential pandemic, and be polite. Please and thank you.